About tourism. At 107 years old, the Belle of Louisville is truly floating history, one of the last remaining steamboat paddle wheelers on the water in America. But to keep afloat, she needs passengers and tourists, and as you know, they've been cut off for a year. So tonight, Gabrielidis has more on now the emergency effort to keep her floating in the face of a possible $725,000 deficit. We are going full steam ahead, pun intended. Krista Snyder, Bell of Louisville's CEO, is trying to keep the River City icon above water. People here grew up with this boat. They love her. Um, they they want to see her be around for many years to come. And it comes with a steep price. Ending the year with a deficit of about $725,000. And that is the amount that we're asking Louisville Metro to kick in in order to make sure that we can continue to cruise. The next five years could mean a total of $4.1 million needed to keep sailing. They were very frank in saying that, uh, that this is not a one-time special appropriation in their view. They believe that they will need $975,000 next year and $710,000 the year after that. Councilman Bill Hollander drafted an ordinance to address the 2021 deficit. It's in addition to the $580,000 the city funded last year. This was an investment that uh, council members uh, who were at the budget committee last week said they wanted to make. The Bell usually has 10 to 15 cruises a week. In 2020, there were only five. Along with requests for donations from the community, the Bell is starting something new for spring break called Daily Harbor History Cruises. Tickets will be sold at an affordable price to boost revenue. Those are already proving to be very, very popular. Several of our cruises have already sold out. Another thing we're doing is we're going to be implementing um, two-tier pricing where folks who live here in Jefferson County, you're a Louisville resident, um, you will always get cheaper pricing. Louisville is expected to receive $435 million from President Joe Biden's American Rescue Plan. The city is hoping to use some of those funds to help support the Bell of Louisville. For WHS 11 News, I'm Seneca Bergetigas.